The first one is just to explain your idea. I think this, or uh, I just want to say such and such. And the second sort of layer is agreeing with reason or disagreeing with reason. So I agree because, or I disagree because. So it's not okay to use a put down, or I like so-and-so's idea, it's great, period. But to actually build this idea over here I agree with because, or this idea over there I disagree with because. So it sets kind of a norm for positive interactions, but also suggests that right away there are going to be disagreements, and that's a good thing. Uh, and the next is to sort of uh, another piece of the guidelines is to go beyond. So going beyond mean would be to make a connection to some other learning that's occurred either inside the classroom or outside the classroom. So I'd like to go beyond what we're talking about and bring in this idea. And uh, so that's kind of a, a nice one too. And a uh, final part of the guidelines, the math talk guidelines, um, is building on. So that's where one student would build on the ideas of another student. So all of these require careful listening to one another. We're not just presenting some ideas one after the other without listening to each other. It, the first presentation of ideas is the starting point for a much richer discussion that uh, involves building on disagreeing, agreeing, rather than presentations of discrete information. So in working with those guidelines then, uh, we've done some larger studies across districts. Uh, we did one with uh, grade six uh, teachers in a, across a large district and saw some significant EQAO improvements uh, when the teachers took on the guidelines and used them. Uh, and again, they're just a starting point, but they kind of establish some norms for getting started with how do we talk to each other about mathematics?